Exactly 70 years ago, the first road car was leaving our factory. So in the 70th anniversary, there was not a better year to start this collaboration because all the experience, all the technology, all the knowledge that Intel has as far as artificial intelligence is concerned will give the possibility again to look at the race from a different perspective, increasing the experience both for the driver but also for the fun. AI techniques allow us to basically bring together many sources of data and visualize it or, or find a, an outcome that we wouldn't have seen before. We can use AI techniques to teach drivers to drive better. What that means is pointing out where they could do things differently and be faster or actually intervene in sort of small amounts going around a track, for instance. We have in-car video. You can see what's happening within that car or in front of that car, but you can't really see the relationship with that car and the track, the relationship with that car and other cars. Now we're deploying drones and we can start getting video feeds of all different corners of the track and syncing it up with data coming from the cars. Five years from now in the motorsports uh, world, I, I believe we're gonna be using a lot better analytics based upon AI techniques. Right? Human can only take so much data in, and that's really what AI systems can do. So we can bring together much more data with these systems, things we really couldn't do before. Why Intel and Ferrari? I think the right question is, why not? And why we waited so long? 